morning, it's Saturday the 7th of January and before I open the shop today I thought I'd come on and let you know what I'm going to get up to today. So this is another small business vlog and I will be sharing with you the progress on updating and remodelling the office studio and the art room and craft room and also just sharing with you what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis as a small business owner. This is going to be small business vlog number three I believe. Uh, so there are two others to catch up on uh, and I'd recommend doing that just to give you a bit of a flow so you know what it's going up to. Um, but if you just want to hop on this one and just have a look through and see what sort of things I get up to on a day, you can do that too. Mm -hmm. So I think today's plan is to finish the painting. So which one is it? This one here needs to be finished painting. So you'll have seen me painting these ones in the previous vlogs. I have one left. <laughs> you go the wrong way. One left to finish painting, put the door handles back on um, and then I've got to decide what I'm going to paint on the bottom of the kitchenette. So all of that has been done with no cost because I had the paint already. So this is just using furniture paint that I had from previous projects. Uh, and I'm really pleased, it's really brightened the place up. I'll show you how the rest of the shop's going in terms of the remodeling side of things. And I'm really excited, I've got a delivery coming today that I treated myself to, that I've wanted for such a long time. So if you don't know, <clears throat> as well as running uh, Devon Art Supplies, Betty's Books, Imagine Design Create, the stamps and pencil, uh, stamps, paper packs, and stencils range. I also design under Art and Design by KB as a brand name. Um, although I'm looking at segregating off smaller brands to the different themes that I work under. Um, so I work in, in different themes depending on my mental state at the given time. And at the moment it is majority of sort of like the, the Greenwich style. Uh, so if you head over to my website, uh, which is devonartsupplies.co.uk and look for the art and design by KB section, you'll see there's quite a few things that are witchy and green witch vibes. Um, I'm completely on the tangent. What I was actually trying to say is that I design and then I create products. So I do things like bookmarks and art cards and various other bits and pieces, key rings, uh, pin badges and things like that. And the um, product that I have been doing and I started doing last year was tote bags. Now they fly out, they are so popular in store, these tote bags. I'll show you some of the tote bags that I've done. So the tote bags that I ended up having to do were all um, just plain black ink print and that was because I realised after buying this expensive heat press that I actually had the wrong printer. I didn't do enough research, I just dove in and got a um, heat press which I'll show you. And that has been working absolutely fine. They've been selling like absolute hotcakes, all of these different designs that I've created for tote bags, um, just with black print. And that worked out fine for a while, but I knew that I wanted to go forward and get the sublimination printer, the, the coloured ones, when they need to do colour in the future. Um, but last year I just didn't, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to, to be investing in something quite so expensive if I wasn't then going to be able to have the time or the mental capacity to, to actually do the designing. So with this year in mind where I want to get back onto things, I treated myself to a sublimination printer that should be arriving today and I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to get started on that. And the heat press that I bought actually already had the attachments for mug printing. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a massive box up here and that is actually full of ceramic mugs. Uh, there's over 50 ceramic mugs in this box and I've not been able to use it because I didn't have the right printer and it wasn't transferring. I couldn't work out where the designs weren't transferring. I did loads of research and then I realised it was because I had the wrong type of printer. So now that I've got this printer coming today, I'm going to be able to um, print on the right type of paper and use the heat press I already have to create tons more products. So I had a load of sublimination blanks that I bought when I bought the heat press, things like posters, uh, mouse mat pads, t-shirts, hats, all sorts of things that I had to go with the heat press that realised I couldn't use because I had the wrong printer. Um, but that was a mistake I made and now I'm going to... Yeah, right. Um, so this is the sublimination printer I went for, the Epson EcoTank ET2814. 
I have not worked with sublimination printers before, but this is the one that I found on, I forget the name of where they are. I'll find the name and the link and let you know where I got it from. And I will show you the setting up process once I figure out what shelf is going on. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get started and um, I'll let you know how it goes.
it's Tuesday the 10th of January and I'm back in the shop and I'm in the office right now. I have literally just come downstairs. I haven't opened the shop doors yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, yesterday I had a, a proper day off. So if you don't know, I had Sundays and Mondays technically off. Although on a Monday, I usually do still um, pop around the studio and do bits and pieces. But I decided to, instead of doing that this um, Monday, to try and have some me time and do some jobs around the house. And I painted my nails, which I'm really pleased with. Just makes me smile a bit. Um, so I have got a lot to do today. And I'm feeling a bit run down. So I don't know how much on camera filming I will do today. But I have lots of jobs and I will hopefully um, film through those in the day. I've got some really new cool things I want to share with you that come in stock as well. Um, and also I got myself a new monitor stand which my husband built for me last night. So I'll show you that new monitor stand. I've got some new storage to go here on these shelves. I am waiting on a couple of storage boxes for these papers so that I can label those up and make sure they don't get mixed with anything else because they're for the new sublimination printer and I need to troubleshoot some issues with that sublimination printer as well. If you um, saw the videos just a moment ago you will see that the last thing that happened was um, it printed really pale. Um, where did I put the printer? So this is how pale it has come out at the moment which isn't anywhere near as good as what it needs to be. So I'm gonna have a little look around today and see if I can figure out what is causing the pail. I know it's not the ink um, amounts because the ink amounts are definitely okay, but there's gotta be something that I'm doing wrong because I, it shouldn't be coming out of this pail. When I print on my other printer, it's nice and vibrant and it looks fantastic. So I know for a fact it isn't anything to do with um, the, the image itself that I've created as well. So it must be printer settings or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna try and troubleshoot that today. So yeah, let's go on with the day.
delivery of these really cute little tassels that I could hang on my bookmarks. These are so cute. I don't know how well you can see these ones. That one's a green one. Um, but I got this whole bag. Um, I think I got 100. Um, and they're absolutely beautiful. morning it's Wednesday the 11th of January and this is probably going to end up being the outro to vlog 3 so small business studio vlog 3 and that's because I don't want them to sort of go too far over half an hour because I think that's sort of about the right amount of time for a studio vlog let me know in the comments if you think differently um, if you think that they could be a bit longer or if you prefer them shorter let me know and I'll try and cater to that um, but the plans for today are to, I would like to attack the bottom um, kitchen units, so I might get the first coat of paint on those. I'm really hoping my delivery of storage, watches, storage boxes arrives today, um, because for some reason they didn't arrive yesterday, so I haven't been able to put all my papers into storage and get them onto here. I will show you the um, new branding products. So the new branding that I've been working on for Art and Design by KB, I finished that yesterday, sent it off for print. So there's gonna be new thank you cards, new business cards and new stickers ready. And then I need to get the shop up and running. And what I mean by that is my Art and Design by KB brand, I last year let it go and just sort of didn't really focus on it very much. The cards sell in the shop all the time every day, so I was restocking those. Pin badges, stickers, the paper stickers that is, those go really well in the shop. And so what was kind of happening is I wasn't, sorry, I'm trying to load the computer whilst talking. <laughs> I wasn't focusing on the website or Etsy and it sort of just sort of went to wayside. And um, so I'm going to try and get them back up and running. So I want to get the Etsy shop back up and running and I want to get all of my products onto the website. If you want to have a look at what's on there at the moment, um, all of my businesses are on one main website. So that's, you can get there by going to devonartsupplies.co.uk. Sorry, I keep thinking there's people coming in the shop. <laughs> so you can get on to um, order any of the products that I sell at devonartsupplies.co.uk. So on there you will find um, Betty's Books, which is the bookshop side of my business. You'll find Devon Art Supplies, which is the arts and craft supplies side of the business. And you'll find Art and Design by KB, which is all the products that I obviously design and, and create. And um, yeah, so have a look on there if you want to see all of the products for sale. And then Art and Design by KB, the website, is sort of dedicated to sharing with you the process of the products, so the product making, the product designs that are upcoming, that sort of thing. And that's the sort of our, uh, the idea of going forward. So my new branding is very reflective of the colours I've painted the studio. I'm going for sage greens, forest greens, and then some neutral tones with that. So um, you can see sort of these neutral tones here, the greys and the sort of stones. Um, so those are the colours that I'm rebranding with. And you'll be able to see that soon when it arrives, I will show you. So let's get going with the day, shall we? 